not gonna lie, this month has been a pretty big one for me. To start it all off, I finally got to see my family in Arkansas for the first time in a year and a half since COVID started. So I did some Legos with some crazy eyes, saw a raccoon. I think they're kind of cute. Well, you know what people call them on the internet, trash pandas. Mom, he's just ambling around, hanging out. He's playing with something. He's trying to catch a bug or something. Oh my gosh, you've got to come watch this, Mom. Not gonna lie, that was the only raccoon that I saw the whole time, but it was pretty spectacular. I came back to Los Angeles and was in my apartment, just doing my thing, getting back into working out, getting on back into running, which was a very convenient thing because this video is sponsored by Lululemon. And I'm wearing a very cute Lululemon outfit to do a little bit of weight training today. I'm like just getting back into it right now. So I'm trying my best to not overexert myself, but uh, wearing cute clothes like this from Lululemon definitely makes it feel a lot easier. It also makes my butt look amazing. I'm only using 10 pound weights here because I'm trying to ease myself back into it and baby, my glutes can't take it. You know what I mean? And if you wanna find these cuties on the Lululemon website, I'm wearing the Align High Rise six inch shorts. And I'm also wearing the Energy Bra, which truly does give me energy. This week back was truly a week of maintenance. So I trimmed my bangs and then went to go clean out my fridge. Somehow this is still good. Do I trust that? <laughs> and then it was time to tackle the most daunting task. This is like, the beauty guru apocalypse. I got things to do, I got houses to see. I'm going house hunting today, which is very exciting and also very nerve wracking. We're gonna do more unboxing today, yay. One of the first things that I got that was not really like a PR thing, but more so a belated birthday thing um, from my mom's best friend back home in Arkansas. And the whole idea of the candles is they're supposed to smell like particular locations. So I've got an Arkansas one, I've got a Friday night football one, I've got a Los Angeles one, and then I've been burning this United Kingdom one. The smell of rain that is oh so familiar, slight scents of sticky toffee pudding and mince pies shared around the table, a lovely cup of tea, the way it's supposed to be made. In a sense, perfectly British. I've been burning this one and I freaking love it, but how cute is that? The Friday night football one? Leather cleats on freshly cut grass, concession stand treats and refreshments, cool fall air with a hint of football player. Ooh. The only sad part is they didn't capture the scent of me getting eaten alive by fire ants when I was a cheerleader and sat on a fire ant hill before our grass was changed into turf grass on our football field. They couldn't, that's a hard one to capture. Bright mornings and star-kissed nights, clean sea breezes and desert sand, citrus notes of orange zest and lemon slices and a bouquet of jasmine and roses. They really, they got descriptive with these. Such a nice, lovely gift. Thank you once again to Miss Teeny for giving me these. Excuse me while I literally burn the UK. Why did that sound like I was threatening an entire country? Okay, should, can we, should we? Uh... I got this. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a bottle of wine. It sounds liquidy. Like it's got a real liquidy sort of vibe. Ow! What? What? Excuse me? Oh, wait. What is this for? This is just a bottle of really expensive champagne. Where did you come from? Oh no, there's no note. What am I supposed to do? Oh no, what do I do with this? I don't know who to thank for this. <laughs> thank you to whatever company sent me a whole bottle of champagne for seemingly no reason. Or person? I don't know, I'm so sorry. I wish I knew who sent that to me. <laughs> sorry, can I show you guys something like insane that I got yesterday that I unboxed and then I was like, what is this? One sec, let me get up. It looked like like a box that you would get a cell phone in and lo and behold, it was a cell phone. This little baddie. And this is like a little cell phone that almost has the same screen as like an Amazon Kindle, you know, any e-reader that you would have used that has sort of this like black and white ink screen. It literally only gets text messages and calls. So it's supposed to be super simple. There's something about it, like the interface of it is gorgeous to me. 
And I really wish I could figure out how to actually connect this to my phone because I would legitimately use this. Am I crazy or is that like kind of a cool like little piece of gadget to have? I don't know, I'm like, this thing's just crazy to me. You can't do anything with this phone, but it's basically supposed to keep you from like getting dopamine rushes from your regular cell phone. Ooh, what's this? One hand mirror. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Like. So anyways, I got this um, Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. I don't know which one of these I probably am. Probably buff. This is coming in handy right off the bat. Let's see what this gives. Ooh, I'm looking a little ghostly here. Okay, let's correct. Okay, I look like a straight up vampire. So we gotta do, okay. Mega alert, is there bronzer literally anywhere? Like it is, everything is sticking in all of the wrong places. So, hmm. And she literally said, cut the cameras. It ain't happening today, for reals. <laughs> I washed my entire face cause I super hated that makeup. I think I just went for like a really wrong color. Okay, ready for exciting news? Get excited. Y'all, <laughs> I just got some of the craziest news that I've ever gotten in my life. Your girl is in escrow, officially, on a house. A house with a roof and with like bedrooms and a kitchen and all of it, I'm in escrow on a house. Not only and I'm, am I just like so incredibly excited for this like next chapter of life, like I, I don't know, COVID hit everyone especially hard and like when the housing market went crazy and started booming, that dream that I had of saving up enough money to get a house was basically dashed. Like there was just no way that I was gonna afford a house in Los Angeles after like all the prices started spiking. And that was really disheartening because I have been working since I was 16 years old and all I've ever done is save my money. So my dream was to be able to buy a house by myself. Like that's what I wanted. That was like my independent, like, I don't know, just having something that I felt like I earned that I could see and I could say like, this is how hard I worked. Um, and I was looking, I've been looking at houses, like I said, for like two and a half years. And as houses started getting more and more expensive, my budget was the same. So I started looking at houses that were smaller and smaller and looking at like fixer uppers and stuff that I don't have the capacity to handle on my own, to be completely honest. But like, generally speaking, I basically like lost all hope of finding my dream home. Like that was something that was just not gonna happen. Like this home that I was gonna buy now was gonna be like the stepping stone to my dream home. And then my dream home fell into my lap because of COVID. And I've never been someone who's really believed in fate or like a grand master plan, but man, oh man, the feeling that I had when I realized like this was actually gonna work out. And when I got the call that the offer had been accepted and that we were in escrow, like I just sat with myself for a while. Cause I was like, this just cannot be real. Like I cannot imagine that this is real. This house is like at the top of my price range. I couldn't have gone any higher on it. And somehow that was enough for these people. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's big. Like I have space, which was something that I was not anticipating having at all. I assumed that at, at most I would be buying like a two bed, one bath. Like I didn't even think I would have an extra bathroom. Honestly, I'm just so excited because if you know anything about you know, my YouTube channel for the past couple of years, like this apartment, as much as it has served me well, it is tiny. It's not like a huge, big apartment. The kitchen, the living room are all in the same place. You're very on top of each other, especially if you live with someone who is 6'4". Generally speaking, I just truly felt like we had outgrown this place, but I didn't have enough money to make that move happen. And I know this is gonna sound really obvious, but I am in such an incredibly privileged position that this is even possible for me. 
you know, I have worked hard for years. Every single brand deal that I've done has basically gone into this house. Thanks, Lululemon. Like, you know, it, everything that I have done up to this point is going to be in this house. And that is so exciting to me. Um, I can't wait to be able to take you guys with me to like share interior decorating and all of that kind of stuff. On top of the fact that like, as silly as it sounds, like I have, it's filmed every inch of this apartment. Every inch of this apartment complex, baby. It'll be nice to just have like a new set for a, for a second, okay? I'm gonna do a whole vlog next week going a little bit more in depth on like how things are going, um, like letting you guys know when I'm moving. Please keep me in your thoughts uh, and send out the good vibes that everything goes well in escrow because so far the sellers are amazing. I really, really like the guy that's selling me this place and everything is going well. It's it's almost like it's going too well. You know what I mean? And that's like, that's a lot of self-sabotage. I'm like looking for the, for the, you know, the bad moment. I'm looking for the bad thing to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And so either that means that my stars are all aligning or that there's a very big foot that's about to fall. So as crazy as it sounds, this will probably be one of the last videos that you see filmed in this apartment, um, which is really exciting. I'm not sad about that at all. So if stuff like moving vlogs and interior decorating and all of that kind of stuff is right up your alley, then definitely stay tuned because hopefully your girl is moving into this place early fall. Um, that's the game plan. If that works out, then dude, the fall is gonna be so lit. I'm gonna have such a good time. And now we just need Will Darbyshire to come back in town because he's still, y'all, by the way, there's still a travel ban. Did you guys know that? Still a travel ban. People from the UK cannot come directly to the US. You still have to quarantine in a third country, which is crazy. Hey guys, could we start letting double vaxxed people in? Cause there's no real scientific reason to not do that. So like, that would be cool so that I could see the people that I love and that like other people could see the people that they love because hashtag love not tourism, am I right? That's it, I just wanted to end on a super happy note. I wanted you guys to be able to get excited with me. Um, and also one last very huge thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring this video and probably funding the couch and or lamps and or rugs and or side tables that I will get in the future. Thanks Lululemon. Also look at what I'm wearing, it's very cute. I have this little skirt here that's so, so cute. And then I've got this little tank top also from Lululemon. Huh? as a little black and white ensemble. I'm also wearing Lululemon socks. <laughs> just like to be like a cute little sassy runaround girl. So I don't know, is anybody down to play some tennis later? Cause I'm super down. I got the outfit ready for it, baby. Mm. 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 Thank you again for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me over the years because if I didn't have this as a job, the, that would never happen. I would never be in escrow on a house. That would literally never happen in my life. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. I think it's gonna be awesome, not just because like I finally get to kind of spread out and like really commit myself to a living space, but also like the content is gonna be so fun. And now that we have a house, Will and I can get pets. Like there's just exciting stuff, left, right and center. There's just good stuff. So like, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling really good. And if you wanna hear more about this, like I said, I'm going to be posting a vlog talking all about moving stuff next week. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching, bye.